Hey YouTube, what's up? NCS Fan 001 here. Time to begin my fourth walkthrough. This time, Call of Duty Black Ops. We're going to be starting with the Operation 40 mission. We're going to be playing through the game on regular, as my other walkthroughs go. Wake up! We're going to watch some of the cutscenes, but not all of them. Where's Reznov? Reznov? Do you understand? Who the hell are you? That's not important. What's important is who you are. What's your name? Fuck you. That works. Kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. So now this is Mason, our main character. My name is Alex Mason. You were born in Fairbanks, Alaska. In 1961, you served in a CIA assassination team known as Operation 40. And this is basically saying, now I will say, this game has a lot of surprising plot twists. It has a far better plot than most of the other COD games, so I'm not going to spoil it. No. We're currently, we've been captured and being interrogated by those couple of guys. You got killed. So now, this is uh, 1961, as you can tell, this is a flashback. But I will say, most of the game is a flashback. Just saying. So this is Operation 40, an operation where the United States is going to go in through the Bay of Pigs and kill Castro. As I said before, I'm going to skip some of the cutscenes, but not all of them. We went in to kill Castro. The ones I feel aren't as important, I will skip. Also, I can't guarantee any of the intel being shown because I found it all, but I will show you where a couple of the most difficult pieces are to find. Just saying that. The police are going to be here soon. Let's make this quick. Okay, time to begin. So this is basically the tutorial mission, similar to World at War. It has no actual well, training mission. Booming, right? And honestly, uh, actually I kind of forgot what I was going to say there. But, oh yeah, now I remember. This is sort of a, uh, this is supposed to be sort of a sequel to World at War. And in a way it is, but it's not like it's not a direct sequel like Modern Warfare 2 was to Modern Warfare. This is sort of an indirect sequel, I guess. So going over basic controls, move around with the right control stick. But by the way, it's gonna be the same controls as any other COD game. Excellent. Right control stick to look around. The other ones will become more relevant in a moment. Uh oh. Cuban, no! Oh, and by the way, some of these videos are going to be ending up being a little bit longer than some of the ones from the other walkthroughs and stuff. Just because I found out that I can post... Oh! Just because I found out I can post stuff at school and it only takes like five minutes compared to that hour and a half it takes at my house. So... I can't guarantee how long the videos are going to be, but I think there's going to be a high tendency for them to be a little bit longer. Okay, so now we're going to fight our way through the streets of Cuba to find Castro. First part, do not shoot at anything. Okay, basic controls. L1, aim down the side. R1 is fire, as you just saw. Uh, directional pad gives you different types of equipment. In this case, we have a noob tube. It can blow up cars quite quickly. Now, as you can see, this game doesn't have quite as good graphics as Modern Warfare 2. They're not bad, but they aren't as good as Modern Warfare 2. And we're playing through on regular, as you also saw. Just because regular is easier. And honestly, I I suck at Call of Duty games on veteran. Anyway. Whoa. Uh, circle for me is melee, and uh, R3 is crouch and prone. X is up. Uh, that's just because I chose the tactical setting. L1 aim down sight. Grenade is R1. Or, excuse me, R2. Special grenade is L2. The use, interact, and reload button is square. This game also has a lot of interactive stuff in it, so you gotta be ready for it a lot more than the other games. Such as this. Gun it! Oh god. Ah, ah, barely have to drive though, luckily. Don't worry, you'll get your chance to drive stuff later in the game. Anyway. Oh god. God, these guys must be horrible shots if they can't hit us. Oh 
This was easily the most M-ish rated game, I guess you could call it. Easily should be rated M the most of any of them. Most cursing, most graphic stuff. That's pretty awesome. As I was saying before, L2 is special grenades, and L3 is sprint, but we can't do it right now. I'll show you guys the dolphin dive as soon as we can. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. This game did have easily some of the coolest scenarios and stuff in the entire series, though. I will give it that, even though the graphics weren't as good. The music's pretty good at some points, too. The Scorpion SMG. Very nice. I haven't seen you since... Or I haven't seen an effective version of you since Call of Duty 4. I'm not saying... Oh, yeah, I actually saw that on Deadliest Warrior, the little uh, things that they used to, like, cut clay. They used to choke people with it. Yeah, I mean, this guy, I think I'm going to take the FAO instead, but the Scorpion isn't bad in this game's online. It served me a lot better, though, before I prestige the first time. It was really good for me. But lately, I just haven't been... I really prefer the MP5 for submachine guns, just because the MP5 is pretty beast. Especially with, like, an extended mag and rapid fire on it, but either way. Uh, M16 is questionable. There are times I like it and times I don't like it. It's three round burst in the online, but it's full auto in the campaign. As you just saw there, it's full auto. Oh crap, he had a shotgun, I forgot about that. FAL is terrible. And FAL just absolutely sucks. Where is it? Uh, I don't want the RPK or the FAO. There she is, a gun that never made it into the online, even though I wish it had. The KS-23 shotgun. Hurry it up! It's pump action, but it has a seven round clip. Pretty good rate of fire overall. It's a cool looking gun, and it never made it into the campaign. Which was kind of surprising to me. I mean, it never made it into the online. It's good, though. I love it for the campaign. You find it, like, in half the campaign missions, literally. Pardon by me, though. I get to use it. I'm happy with it. Yay, noob too. There's always plenty of ammo for it whenever it's available. Quick scope. As I was saying before with the Scorpion, though, it's not bad, but I way prefer the MP5, and I wish this gun had made it to the online. All right. Inside, go. You shoot through that? I guess not. Take the so, by the way, at the time this is being filmed, I still have just the finale and the extras of Modern Warfare 2 left. So, this will be going up within, like, however... I should have a channel update up that uh, explains it better why I won't be posting for, like, a week. Which, this might... Okay, I don't know what I'm saying now. I just, like, lost my train of thought or something. I've been thinking too hard this week. I've had six tests this week, and I have exams next week. But keep in mind, it's not going up at that same time. Keep in mind, this is not going up before my exam week. This is going up afterward, even though I'm filming it earlier on, just so I have a little bit to post during exam week. That was a fail. Ah, that hurt me. Badly. Obviously, though, according to Call of Duty logic, this shotgun has no range outside of about 15 feet or so. Wow, he just, like, dropped dead. Okay. Alright, when you get to this point, uh, take out your full auto weapon. Go up on him, and you breach. If you, have a, if you have a shotgun, though, it's way too hard to breach because it's too slow. So yes, they brought back the slow-mo breaches from the last game. Is he not dead yet? Yeah, he is. Alright, go back and switch to your shotgun here. We got another breach to do, but you get to use a pistol. And here you get a trophy for killing Castro with one shot in the head. Easy as heck. It's, that's an easy shot. It's like one of the easiest trophies in the game. Achievements, whatever. 
kill the hooker. Crazy bitch. It's funny that unlike in most games, most of the COD games, he's still showing red over him even though he's dead. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Call of Duty logic, I guess. Go Bowman. So yeah, that's our squad. Is uh, it's Mason, Woods, and Bowman are one squad, and you're also gonna be playing as Weaver. Or actually, Weaver's gonna be your squad man when you're playing as Hudson. I'm sorry, I haven't played this campaign in a really long time. I want to use this rush tag that I've been showing here. But yeah, uh, you either play as Mason, who's with Woods and Bowman. Or Hudson, who is with Weaver. Those are the two squads. Or teams, or whatever. And you'll also play as a few other characters along the way, but those are the main guys. He's dead. I love quickscoping with the KS-23, it's awesome. It's a beast. I kinda wish this made it into the campaign instead of the uh, stakeout. The stakeout isn't bad, but I don't like it that much. No, actually, last time I was playing through the campaign, I had a weird glitch happen to me here. Where it wouldn't let me progress after I, uh... Wow. Great job. Already dying on the first level. Anyway. Okay. How did that not blow up? We... I think I just hit the guy instead of the truck. That was great. Go me. Nothing really interesting to commentate about here. It's just a plane going in and killing everything. Oh crap, I probably should have hit there. Oh, there we go. It did progress correctly this time. Because last time, for whatever reason, that BTR wouldn't come out. I don't know why. Whatever, though. It came out this time. Ow, crap. Do not die again on the first level, please. Do not die again on the first freaking level again. Okay, I'm at, I'll let this video run over, but I may not let all the other videos run over, even though they can, and it won't bother anything. We'll have to see how they go, depending on at what point I am in some of those other ones. Okay, we're close to the end of the mission, though. There's the airfield. Let's hope Carlos secured that evac. It's he also two. Rebels are getting their asses kicked. Better get down there. Hook up. All right, propel. Go. But really, about the only reason I still play Black Ops is just for the zombies and occasional online. Usually in the online, though, I just go in and try to screw around and just, like, knife people in gun game. That's all I really do in it. By the way, there's a piece of info right here. Just saying. So, yeah, this is still trying to be sort of a tutorial here. It tells you to, like, sprint across. Whoa, that was close. Holy crap, that was close. This mission wasn't hard on veteran, though. Whoa, what the heck? What the? Okay, I'm guessing that was supposed to happen. Can I blow that up? So I can't blow that up when I'm outside of the plane. But I believe I can when I'm inside the plane. Pull out an M60 current here, randomly. So apparently our shotgun can't pierce the explosive barrel, but our M60 can. And the M60 has infinite ammo and it doesn't need overheat. It's pretty good in the online, too, except it takes too long to aim down the site. And has too much bullet spread. Woo! This is fun. Man, 
chance, how many guys does the military have? I mean, population in it, as it said before, is only 6.5 million. I wouldn't think all of them would be military. There's a lot of them here. That's not good. Mason's being a hero here. Thank you. For a moment, I thought I wasn't going to get it. That's good. So they escape, and we get captured. Uh oh. Who are you? Are you our new Call of Duty villain? Or will someone turn on us again? You're dead. We killed so Casper is alive. You killed the double. You think we didn't know of your plan? We always know. Do with him what you wish, General. This is my gift to you, in honor of our new relationship. Just make sure that he suffers. He will know suffering beyond his darkest fears. That's not fun. I have plans. So Dragovich and uh, Castro basically formed an alliance. Oh, he did. Dragovich sure did. So, next time we will head into the mission Vorkuta, which is actually a little bit longer mission than a lot of the others. It, I will split it into two videos, it's too long. See you guys then.